Hello everyone and welcome to today's session on NP problem by IntelliPad. NP is a set of decision problems that can be solved by a non-deterministic Turing machine in polynomial time. In this session, we will talk about all the details of NP problem and its characteristics. So without further wait, let's start the session. But before we begin the session, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you'll never miss any update from us. Hello and welcome to yet another video by IntelliPad. In this video, I will be talking about the NP problem. By the end of this video, you will be able to know what are decision problems, complexity classes, what is meant by Turing machine, deterministic and non-deterministic Turing machine, what is NP problem, why are some NP problems hard to solve, some characteristics of NP problems, and a simple conclusion. Now before we move forward with today's agenda, let us take a look at some of the important terms. Firstly, we have computability theory. Computability theory is a branch of mathematics that is concerned with the concept of an effective procedure, one that can be carried out by following a set of instructions. Next up, we have computational complexity theory. So computational complexity theory is concerned with classifying and relating issues that are solved by computers according to their resource utilization. Next we have polynomial time. The amount of time it takes a computer to answer a problem where the amount of time is straightforward polynomial function of the input size. Lastly we have descriptive complexity theory. Descriptive complexity is a branch of computational complexity theory and finite model theory that defines complexity classes according to the type of logic required to express the languages within them. Now let's move on to our first agenda that is what are decision problems. So a decision problem is a problem that can be expressed as a yes or no inquiry of the input values in computability theory and computational complexity theory. Some of the most significant issues in mathematics are undecidable. Decision problems generally emerge in mathematical concerns of decidability that is, the question of whether or not there is an effective technique to determine the existence of an item or its membership in a set. Next we have complexity classes. So a complexity class is a group of connected resource-based computer issues in computational complexity theory. Time and memory are the two most often studied resources. The majority of complexity classes consist of decision problems that can be solved with a Turing machine and are differentiated by the time or space needs. Saying that all decision problems can be solved with a Turing machine would be a generic way of understanding this. So first, let's see what is a Turing machine. A Turing machine is a mathematical computational model that provides an abstract machine that manipulates symbols on a strip of tape using a set of tools. Now Turing machine is again of two types. We have deterministic and non-deterministic. Let's move on and see our next agenda that is deterministic and non-deterministic Turing machine. If a problem can be solved in polynomial time by a deterministic one tape Turing computer, it is classified as P-class in algorithmic analysis. And for non-deterministic, the problem belongs to the NP-class if it can be solved in polynomial time by a non-deterministic Turing machine. Now let's see what exactly is the NP problem. The set of decision problems for which the problem instances with the response yes have proofs variable in polynomial time by a deterministic Turing machine or the set of problems that can be solved in polynomial time by a non-deterministic Turing machine is known as NP. The later definition is the basis of the abbreviation NP, non-deterministic polynomial time. Because the Turing machine method consists of two phases, the first of which consists of a non-deterministic guess about the answer and the second of which consists of a deterministic algorithm that checks if the guess is a solution to the problem, these two definitions are equal. Our next agenda here is why are some NP problems hard to solve? Now there have been several efforts to create polynomial time algorithms for problems in NP because of the many important problems in this class. However, there are many problems in NP that appear to need super polynomial time and resist such approaches. One of the most unresolved concerns in computer science is whether or not these problems can be solved in polynomial time. Next we have characteristics of NP problems. NP corresponds exactly to the set of languages 
definable by existential second order logic in terms of descriptive complexity theory. NP can be thought of as a very basic interactive proof system in which the prover generates the proof certificate and the verifier is a deterministic polynomial time machine that verifies it. It is complete because the correct proof string will lead it to accept if one exists and it is sound since the verifier will refuse to accept if no acceptable proof string exists. Now let's move towards the conclusion. P is a subset of NP. Well, that statement is partly true and partly false. So is there a way to swiftly solve these NP problems? That is the core topic we are trying to discuss here. If this is the case that P equals to NP, it could drastically alter how we think about NP problems as it implies that there is a rapid way to solve all of them. We simply haven't figured it out yet. And that's it for this video. Thank you. Just a quick info guys, if you want to make a career in software engineering, then IntelliPad provides an advanced certification program on software engineering and application development by ENICT Council of IIT Guwahati. And it is taught by IIT Guwahati professors and industry experts. This course is designed to upskill and land your dream job.